suppose it's gonna be day three out here. Fishing's been pretty steady. And uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be some fish to find. Dad already's gotten one. And I almost broke right tip, that's dumb. Out here on the Columbia again. See if we can uh, get another fish. Dad's picking me up at the boat launch again. And uh, he's already popped one one 10 pound Chinook and then another uh, Jack. He's fishing for coho right now. It's Patrick Coho we can keep. And then uh, hopefully I can jump on board and hook one. So, it's been hit and miss out here. It's October, it's beginning of October right now. And uh, it's a beautiful morning. Like a little breeze, beautiful sunshine. And uh, hopefully get into some, uh, some chrome, so out there right now. He looks like he's pulling up. What's going on? Yeah, good. good. You got it? Yep. I got it. Good. How you doing? Good, you? Good. Just out here popping them all by yourself, huh? Making me jealous. I said it was cloudy here earlier this morning, but now the clouds are dissipating. Yeah. It had beast. Okay. <laughs> You've already gotten two fish today already this yeah, got, morning? Yeah, I got one jack and uh, one small chinook. So I'm looking for nice. my coho. Awesome. My hatchery coho. Yep. Uh, a little secret sauce on the flasher.
ready. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Did not take very long at all. Nope. <laughs> My spinner. Yep. Woo, baby. That spinner's scoring. That spinner's been on fire this year. go all right first pass got this nice little this nice little uh, chinook jack um, right out of the gate first pass probably didn't take more than what five minutes again ten yeah, minutes. About, about five ten minutes yeah. and it was uh, that's a 16 and a half inch jack yep so it'll cut good eat good and I've uh, got it on that spinner that I tied up that's been knocking them dead this year so yeah we're gonna go back up probably again and uh, see work the run again and See what we can do. So keep watching. Let him out. Put him in the kill bag. Looks like we already got one jack and one small chinook. So, good way to start the day. Can you dump this out. Yeah. So we just got a hot tip. We had a run down, back down river, and uh, one of my dad's buddies has hooked uh, two or three down here and saw two other boats hook up. So um, we decided to make a run back down river to where we started out earlier where I got that jack. And uh, we're starting our first troll down here. So we're marking more fish, um, but we'll see. Just chasing the cell phone by right now, so. <laughs> Which isn't always a good thing. Nope. So we'll see if it pays off. It's first pass through here. It's about noon, so it's time to hook one. So that's about it. Uh, hooked. Uh, how many did we hook? We hooked four, landed three, and had about two or three drive-bys. Yep. So being for this late in the season, be October fifth, two thousand twenty-three. Uh, there's still fish out there, but the gill netters are all through the lower Columbia and they're getting all the big fish. And there's lots of small chinooks and lots of jacks. So, uh, yeah, but things are kind of winding down real quick here. Maybe another week or two and it'll be possibly done out here in Columbia. Yep, and then up in the upper Columbia, it should be uh, still going off, going strong up there in the Hood River area. But other than that, down here, Scratched a couple out, and uh, that's a bit about it. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on River Ride Outdoors. <laughs> Perfect. All right, see ya.